Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the propane tanks from your RV so that if you're borrowing somebody's trailer and you're not sure how to remove the propane tanks, you need to run down to the store to get them refilled. I'll show you how to do that. This obviously isn't a uh, video for people that have been camping for a long time and already know how to do this. It's a pretty simple thing to do, so I'll show you how you can do it yourself. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If you have a cover over your tanks like this one, um, it should just slide off for you. So all you really need to do is kind of pull up on it. If it doesn't just slide up, there may be a strap or something on this tab. So look underneath to see if there's something holding it down. So, okay, so what you want to do next is you want to make sure that the gas is off. Just close both tanks on each side. And then there should be like a, um, if you don't have a hand twist knob like this one, there may be a, um, a knob that you need to get off of the wrench, like an adjustable wrench or like a fixed wrench or something like that. But my camper has to be is uh, newer, so I have these newer twist knobs on the propane tanks. So now that the gas is off, you can untwist these knobs. And that'll undo the connection to the tank. And then there should be like a big wing nut in the middle. So you don't... Yeah. On these newer campers, you really don't, you shouldn't need any tools to do this. Um, if you do, maybe like an adjustable wrench or something, don't lose your wing nut. And this whole assembly will come right off. You can put it to the side and twist and pull off the bracket that holds the tanks down. So now you can just lift up and off and go get your propane tanks filled. Okay, so once you have your tanks full, put them back up onto the bracket. These tanks are pretty big there, about they're 30 pounders. So make sure your um, nozzles are lined up. And then take your assembly and you're going to put it on the pole, stick it up if you have the same type. Make sure the tanks are off and then you can screw back in the regulator. And screw this one back in. Then if you have this type of a bracket, put it back on. And make sure the tanks are in the notches so that they're stable. And this should be a big wing nut. It goes on like this. And spin that on. Make sure that everything's lined up the way it should be. So your tanks don't move around, especially if you have to transport the trailer. And then put your big tall cover on. If you have one like this, it should be all set. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.